CNN in a statement said that the Bourdain committed suicide by hanging himself. The network said that the Bourdain was in France working on an upcoming episode of the Emmy winning CNN series Parts Unknown. He was found in an unconscious state in his hotel room by his friend and French chef Eric Ripewood. Bourdain rose to stardom in the year 2000 with his best selling book called Kitchen Confidential Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly. After hosting several successful TV shows across networks, Bourdain moved to CNN to host the show Parts Unknown, in which he traveled the globe to explore the diverse dining cultures around the world. Anthony Bourdain was one of the world's most influential chefs. And on, and on this, I'm joined by my colleague, Aisha Sindhu. Aisha, he was a chef, uh, he was a traveler, he was a writer, and he made a new foray. Uh, generally, uh, the, the celebrity chefs take you to the kitchens. He actually took you to uh, different places from Zanzibar to, uh, to say Delhi and took you to the mundane cooking which made it far more uh, beautiful and uh, far more real in context of uh, cultures. Absolutely, Kartika. You said it, uh, you know, he took food out of the kitchen. He took it to uh, places where uh, the story of food became more evocative. It wasn't just about ingredients and recipes and, uh, you know, putting the right things together on uh, a sanitized, uh, uh, let's say, kitchen top in a, a you know, and beautifully set up a kitchen set. It was really about the story of food when it came to Anthony Bourdain. And as you were saying, you know, it wasn't just about the book that he wrote. Kitchen Confidential was a huge success. Uh, commercially, it was a very well-accepted book. But then when he went on to partner with CNN with Parts Unknown, uh, the story of food really is what came out of Anthony Bourdain. He uh, took risks. His storytelling was uh, uh, far beyond anything that one associated with food for a long, long time. And and uh, he was a celebrity in his own right, as you were saying, not just as a chef, but as a master storyteller. Uh, but uh, one thing I want to really uh, uh, ask you, you know, I, I, though it's di not directly related to Anthony Bourdain, but if you look at the uh, American society, suicides have really spiked, you know. I was going through various uh, websites, Aisha, and every website ended with a help number. Is this a serious issue in the U.S.? Absolutely it is, Kartike. In fact, uh, just as we speak, uh, the second season of uh, another Netflix episode that concentrates on suicide is uh, out as well. It's called 13 Reasons Why. It deals with uh, suicide among uh, young people, among schoolgoers in the United States. And that too, every episode uh, of the season does start with uh, you know a cautionary uh, message from the crew and cast saying that there are options available for people who are seeking help, uh, who are suffering from mental health health issues. Uh, there are a number of lines available for them to reach out to. So yes, uh, suicide is a, a huge factor in uh, American society. Uh, uh, Mr. Bourdain's death comes after just a few days after Kate Spade, a very popular fashion designer. Uh, she used to design bags, was found dead in her apartment in New York City. So uh, death and celebrity in the United States is something that seems to go hand in hand. And since you asked me, I should also mention the fact that Anthony Bourdain, in addition to being uh, in the news for uh, he himself for what he brought uh, to television in terms of his uh, you know his uh, style of uh, talking about food was also in the news of late because of his own partner she was one of the people who spoke out very vociferously against Harvey Weinstein she was part of the Me Too movement she went to Khan uh, in uh, in 2018 and stood on the on the carpet there and said that this was the hunting ground of Harvey Weinstein this very film festival so Anthony Bourdain was in the news because of his uh, partner's choices, also because he was fully in support of the fact that she came out and uh, aggressively uh, took up the cause of Me Too and Time's Up. Thank you, Aisha. Very well summed up. And uh, Anthony Bourdain will be missed.